What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Zan. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get from level 0 to max level in GPO Update 5. But, real quick, before I get into showing you guys how to get max level, I just want to say that I know that there's going to be a lot of you guys playing on GPO Update 5 just because the game is going to be free. So, I'm doing a low gear giveaway, a big low gear giveaway in my Discord in the description right now as Update 5 releases. So, join the Discord. It's not hard. Just join. You know what I'm saying type in general whatever okay but now let's get into the video okay boys so I'm not gonna waste no more time uh, let's get straight into the video so um, first of all we want to come over here and at the town of beginnings we're gonna be going from level 0 to level 10 so first of all you want to talk to Robo at every island um, and he sets your spawn point you'll see him at every island it's the same NPC now I do not recommend doing this quest because it just takes forever and it's not convenient for XP instead do this quest into a level 10 um daf she gives you the bandit quest basically you talk to her boom bow and you get you get a quest to kill five bandits um pretty much pretty easy stuff all you gotta do is kill five bandits you know pretty easy stuff um and yeah that's you just want to do that same quest until you're level 10. i don't want to waste too much time here so yeah let's go to the next island so uh just follow me so you want to walk out of the gate at the front um, let's get rid of this quest and walk out the gate at the front and just look west and just go straight west and you can go directly to the next island which is Sandor where we're gonna be going from level 10 to level 20 okay so I'm gonna fast forward it and um, until I get there Okay guys, so we made it to Sandora. Um, it's a pretty cool island. <laughs> this is one of my favorite islands in the first sea. I don't know why, I just like it. Um, but yeah, pretty much as soon as you get here, you're gonna make it through the docks. And uh, come talk to Robo, of course. And this is a new feature that you guys get. It's uh, not a new feature, but a feature that are that is introduced to you guys. And that is talking to get your eternal poses. now. I would recommend buying every eternal pose for each island just so that you don't have to go through the hassle of looking up a map for GPO. Um, they're pretty useful. They basically tell you where every island is that you bought an eternal pose for is. Now, just like the Bandit Island, there's going to be some filler quests here. Um, first of all, there is a boss here. His name is Lucid. He's up here, but you're not going to be able to do him until you're higher level. He's super hard to do, especially at level 10 to level 20. So I would not recommend doing that quest. Um, don't do this quest either. This is the quest we're going to be doing from Noah. Um, pretty much all you got to do is kill a couple bandits, just like at the first island. Kill seven desert bandits. And these ones are actually harder because, yeah, they lock on you multiple at a time. I don't know if they're supposed to do that. I don't think they are, but yeah, it's pretty easy stuff. You all have it. By the way, leveling up on GPO is much easier with friends. But yeah this is all that you're gonna do into a level 20 um pretty self-explanatory pretty easy stuff uh, we're not getting into the hard stuff until later so um yeah i'm gonna just keep the guy rolling smooth so the next place that we're gonna go is we're gonna come to the come to the docks into the well it depends on to the right if you're looking this way you see this npc right here now pretty much he's looking directly towards the next item we want to go to but if you talk to him He'll give you a quest and he'll mark it for you. And pretty much you just want to go straight this way, straight north to get to the next island, which is Shellstown. Where we're going to be going from level 20 to level 30. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to fast forward until I get to Shellstown. Okay, boys, so we made it to Shellstown. Um, this is what it looks like. This is also one of my favorite islands. I just, I don't know, the vibes here just hit different. But pretty much you want to come down, always set your spawn, get your eternal pose if you got the bread. Um, and one cool thing about Shellstown is that you can buy this boat in here. Um, now, this boat is going to be the main free-to-play boat. You can also buy a hammer in here if you didn't get it at the first island. But yeah, this boat is... 15,000 Peli, um, which is a lot at the beginning if you don't have someone giving you money. Um, yes, yeah, a pretty nice boat. I recommend buying that. It goes 75 speed, so it's a big upgrade from the Caravel that goes 45 speed. And yeah, so now let's get into the leveling here. So um, 
we're going to be going from level 20 to 30. I know I already said it, but pretty much the way we're going to be doing that is with this quest right here. Robert, you want to talk to him? Hold on, let, me, let me get rid of this quest. Um, yeah, he's doing all that breathing and stuff. Okay. Fortunes. Okay. Now, he sends you to come up here and kill eight corrupt marines. Now, the corrupt marines are right here. And pretty much, you just want to kill them, man. Pretty easy stuff, just like the other islands. This is very easy, very self-explanatory. And you just got to kill two rounds of these guys. Um, two rounds of them, they spawn back pretty decently fast. And you'll be on your way to level 30. It's not that hard. It's pretty simple. Uh, I don't recommend here staying here longer than level 30. Um, just because it's like super time exhausting to super time exhausting or whatever you want to say. Um, so yeah, this is the only quest you're going to be doing here as well. I would like to mention that there is a boss up here. Um, there is a boss up here that you guys can do. But you're not going to be able to do this boss without friends because this boss is extremely hard. Um, he goes, I don't I remember whenever I was low level, I cannot beat him until I was at least max level at the time, which was like... 105 and I still need a little bit of help so that boss is pretty hard but yeah you just kill those marines and get to level 30 and then we'll be on our way okay guys so next we're going to be going to Zoe Island which is going to be level 30 through 40 um and pretty much to do that we're going to be going southwest from this island so pretty much uh not exactly southwest but something like this um a little bit to the right and yeah I'm gonna fast forward till we get to the island of Zoe Okay, guys, so as you can see, we've made it to the island as though we were a little bit off, but that's fine. Um, I don't know why it's not loading in. Hey, yo. Um, but yeah, of course, you know, make sure to talk to Bummy, get your eternal pose. And Robo is right here, which I don't, I hate that they put him right here because the NPC is locked onto you. And y'all gonna be squishy whenever y'all get here, but pretty much this island is the same as the other one. It's a one quest, one quest, one stop shop. So, um, Pretty much, this is the quest that you're gonna want from Zen. Um, and these are the NPCs that you're gonna be fighting. He go defeat some people. Bow. And you gotta kill seven of these on inhabitants. They're actually faster than the regular NPCs, so you just kill seven of them. They drop carrots. If you're mink, you can come up and get the mink fighting style. Okay. But uh, if you're mink, you can come up here. Get the mink fighting style from Sharon. Uh, there's not really no um, boss here. There's, that's the only quest that's here for this big island. But yeah, it's the big bowl shaped island. It's pretty cool. Um, also forgot to mention, but for you starting players, I know y'all gonna be pretty down bad for money. And uh, you could open these chests, and it gives you a little bit of, of uh, spare cash. So just a little tip. There's four of them that spawn up here, so y'all can come collect these. Um, I'm also gonna be giving away money to freshies whenever the game starts. Fresh players. Um, as you see, I have a lot of it, so, um, anyways, now let's go to the next island, which is going to be the Brati. um, so yeah, okay, boys, so now it is time to go to the Brati, which is going to be level 40 through level 55, uh, now a lot of people like staying here to level 105, it's all depending on self-preference, but I know a lot of you guys are new to the game and you want to discover the island, so I'm going over a guy that... That helps you get to all the islands. So pretty much north from the Zoe Island, as you can see, um, we're going pretty much north. Um, yeah, I'm gonna fast forward to when we get there. Okay, and we're already here. Um, and pretty much uh, different from the other islands, the NPCs actually are pretty fast at aggroing. But this is the quest that you're going to be getting. Uh, before I do that, get your eternal pose. You don't want to mess up and die. So what I recommend doing for you guys is uh, coming to the side that this dude stuck on and climbing up by pressing control. And just climb up here because it's going to be, you want to set your spawn. Um, I'm trying not to do a gepo. But yeah, you can pretty much just climb up here. And this is where you set your spawn. I'm going to do it, but... You can get up there climbing, trust me, I've done it before. Uh, you want to talk to Robo. He's in here. I don't know why they made it difficult to get to him and put him in here for you starter players. You can also get Black Leg here, which is a fighting style um, that anyone can get. It it's not race exclusive like Mink fighting style. And 
It's pretty good. It's one of the best fighting styles. It actually is might be the best fighting style, arguably. But pretty much on this island, it's the same thing as the other ones. There's not a boss on this island. But you're going to be talking to Chef Rice, and he gives you the quest uh, to kill them. And all the pirates are in here. Um, defeat eight Craig pirates. All you want to do, defeat eight Craig pirates. Uh, pretty simple. That's all you got to do for real. Uh, and this is what you do until you're level 55. You, level, you, you do this island from level 40 to level 55. So... Yeah. Um. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. I'm trying to kill this NPC, bro. All right. So yeah, you see, I got the quest done. Um. But yeah, our next island is going to be. We're gonna do this until level 55. And our next island is gonna be Sphinx Island, which is the Monkey Island. No racism. <laughs> no racism intended. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to get to Sphinx Island now. Okay, boys, so Sphinx Island is going to be our level 55 to level 80. So you're going to be picking up where you left off because Baratier is level 40 through level 55. So, uh, yeah, pretty much all you want to do is just you want to go pretty much northwest a little bit to the north more. Um, but you you could probably get away with just going northwest. Um, yeah. Okay, boys, so we are now at Sphinx Island. Um, now, you're going to be doing this island. This is the longest island that we've had to stay out for a minute because you're going to be doing this island from level 50 to level 80. So, um, pretty much, the you notice that there is not no Bomi or nothing out here. Uh, no Robo. It's because he's in the waterfall. It's like a little town in here. It's pretty cool. Honestly, very cool. Um, but, yeah, you come in here, you talk to Robo, talk to Bomi, you know, do what we do at every island. And this item is going to be 55 through 80. I've already said it like 80 times, but um, pretty much I can't remember which one it is, but this is the quest. And there's like a little small island over there. That's where your NPCs are going to be. Um, while monkeys are taking over this island. Okay, so you want to talk to Goni for the quest that we're going to be doing for levels. This quest is for the boss, the Gorilla King boss, which drops the Gorilla King crown, which I think I have. Yes, I have it. Um, and it gives you a one as you can see you have all your item sets over here it gives you one health three gen the other health three gens from other items but yeah it's a pretty cool item uh pretty decent for you guys um and yeah pretty much all you want to do is swim over there or get over there if you have black leg and you want to kill these monkeys uh they're pretty these are actually going to be pretty hard because they have a projectile Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, but you guys will not want to kill the boss. The boss is insanely hard, especially for the level. You're going to need to be at least like 325 to kill this boss because it literally regens. The boss regens. It has regenerative properties, bro. The boss is cracked. That's all I'm going to say. Don't try your luck on this boss, bro. The boss is literally cracked. 32 and 1 damage. Look, he's doing damage to me and I'm max level right now. So, yeah. Do not mess with that boss. Uh, and yet yeah, now it's pretty simple, just like the other islands. A lot of bandit beating, I know, but it's all worth it in the end. Um, so the next island that we're gonna be going to is Arlong Park, which is gonna be from level 80 to level 105. And level 105 is gonna be your first big milestone because that was the max level in update one. So yeah, on to Arlong Park. Okay, boys, so our next island is going to be Arlong Park, which is going to get us from level 80 to 105, like I just said. Um, and pretty much you want to go basically northeast, so you want to come to the back side of the island. Um, you want to head a little bit more towards the eastern way, um, just because of the angle that the island is positioned at. So, yeah, just try to copy where I'm looking at, um, and you want to come about this way. Okay, boys, so we made it. We're kind of on the back side, but that was a little journey from Sphinx Island. Uh, but we kind of made it to the back side, so hit a little bit more east. Uh, I made the mistake of not going east enough. Um, 
so yeah from level 80 to 105 we're going to be doing this quest um i'm gonna show you guys so yeah you're going to enter through here from over here this is where you're going to be meeting your not meeting but this is where your bomi and robo are going to be at right here um i'm going to go ahead and set my spawn here just in case anything goes wrong now i do want to say that there is a boss here and it's going to be the first good weapon that you guys can get the kiribachi uh, I don't, unfortunately, I don't have it on me, but you can get the quest here too. I don't know what the level requirement is for the quest, but he spawns in here. It's actually Arlong, literally. It's a pretty cool boss, and as you can see, he's pretty hard, so you're not going to be able to fight him whenever you get here. I'm going to just be honest. You're going to have to wait till you gain a couple more levels, because as you can see, Arlong, even though I'm not blocking, he does a lot of damage. A lot of damage, but he doesn't heal just like the, like the gorilla boss, so that's better. Um... But yeah, to get you to your quest, you're gonna basically come. I'm just gonna show you guys the long way. You could have just went the other way. You saw whenever we pulled into the island. But you wanna come around here. Here the quest is Wabi, Saw Shark Pirates. And pretty much you just wanna kill these guys from level 80 to 105. You just wanna kill all these. Um a method that I didn't show you guys was actually gathering the NPCs together. Uh, yeah, I'm sure that you guys will have some type of skill that you guys can use that does a lot of damage by the end with one of your fighting styles. You don't have to have a fruit, but I'm just going to show you guys. Uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. You can kill six of them at once before they have to spawn back in. And yeah, pretty simple, just like all the other islands, guys. Leveling this game is not hard. It's just time consuming and, and repetitive. Um, that's the one thing that I do not like about GPO. But the next island that we're going to go to is my favorite, favorite, favorite island in the game. And that is Skypea. Um, it's a beauty. It's a beautiful island. I'm going to show you guys how to get there. Okay, boys. So from Arlong Park, we're going to be going, as you can see, that's called the knock-up stream. And that's how you're gonna, your guys are going to be getting up there. Because I'm going to assume that you guys don't have enough stamina or enough stamina or um, enough which I'm call it to get there. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get there the hard way, but pretty much you wanna go towards that stream. If it's there, if not, then you wanna just, cause it, it does, the stream is not always there, but it's there for most of the time. But if not, you just wanna go that direction, but I'm gonna go straight towards the stream. Um, yeah. Okay, guys, so unfortunately, because of my bounty, like the Marines are going to keep on destroying my ship, I literally can't do anything. So I'm just going to show you guys. You're going to hit this, and it's basically going to take you up here. Um, sorry that I can't hit it, but pretty much you just run into that with your boat. It's pretty easy. I shouldn't have to show you guys. You guys could do it. Um, and it will basically fling you up here. Now, it's not 100% <laughs> chance you make it, and your boat might sink, you might drown. Um, you know, unfortunate, but you're gonna your the goal is to land at the heaven's gate which is the entrance to the sky and i i love this island this is why i love this island like the biggest one um but yeah pretty much you want to follow down this um rail street whatever you want to call it and right here we're gonna have our bomi and our robo um so you know what the deal is set your spawn do all that good stuff and now we're gonna head up this way um this is actually gonna lead us to where we're gonna be going now here we're gonna be going from level 105 to level 110, not 110, it's level 110. And uh, this is pretty much um, just an easy quest that you could do. Uh, just easy, this is the where you get introduced. Uh, by the way, don't be mad that you have to be here for like five levels, bro. Cause the next place that we're going, I'm pretty sure you're gonna have to be there from level 110 to level 175, so. Um, yeah, it's pretty tough. Um, but yeah, you're just going to kill these dudes. You get the quest right there. 105 to 110, like I said. And um, I'm not going to waste no time. I'm just going to show you guys where the 110 or 175 is. And uh, it's pretty, pretty, uh, nah, I wouldn't say hard to get to. But if this is your first time on Skypea, bro. Skypea is like a maze, honestly. I don't even think I know my way around. It's been so long. But, uh, yeah, you want to follow it up here. Just follow my footsteps. Um, 
we're gonna be going to the sky castle there's a boss in here by the way a mini boss and not really the real boss um oh snap that's like a trap um yeah we're gonna be heading up just straight up and there it is uh, you can set your i'd recommend setting your spawn right here so that if you the bandits do just happen to kill you you could just go back and kill them pretty fast and yeah, this is where you're gonna be going for like 110 to 175 at. So, uh, so yeah, it's pretty unfortunate. Like I said, uh, yeah. Talk to Zen, get the quest. And I'm gonna just get the quest just for good measure. I didn't get the other one cause I was like a five of one. But uh, how I like to kill these dudes is I come in. Oh wow, that doesn't work. Okay, well you just wanna aggro all of them and then run out run out and come over here you don't have to aggro all of them but if you got skills which you should by now if you have a fighting style which you should have a fighting style by now um you just kill them all right here it's pretty easy stuff um and yeah that's how i like to kill them uh, there's also a sky coliseum up here which you could do pvp with your friends and stuff with but yeah like i said this word my myth is different you go to 175 right here is the fastest way to go to 175 from level 110 and it's gonna be pretty boring it's gonna take a while but it's gonna be the best way um so yeah um i'd also like to mention i, I guess it's my job to show you guys this but if you would like to level up the hard way um come up here to the golden island like in the show and this is where nail is and guys i'm gonna be honest in this update a nail still gives max level players struggle, so you're not gonna be able to beat them in the level 100s. You're not gonna be able to beat them in the level 200s by yourself. You're not gonna be able to beat them in the level 300s by yourself, and you might not even be able to beat them in the level 400s and 500s by yourself. I'm just gonna be honest. So yeah, a nail is pretty difficult. He's a hard boss. Like I said, you're gonna need some friends to do him regardless. If, at least if you wanna do him efficiently. But yeah, pretty much that's it for Sky Island. Um, a good three three four quests that you're gonna do in total to get to your level and boom uh, but that's not it so the next island that we have to go to is called gravitos fort and we're gonna be there from 175 to 190 and yeah i'm gonna show you guys how to get there okay boys so from bomi and robo you're gonna go northwest pretty much yeah northwest to get to gravitos island um Sky Island is my favorite island. We gotta go though. Uh, drop back down to like water level, pretty much, so that you can see the island whenever you make it. A lot of you gonna be on boats, so yeah. Um, I'll see y'all when we get there. Okay, guys, so we made it to Gravitos Fort. Um, and first things first, you want to stop at the docks and get your eternal pose and set your spawn, which I'm going to do as well. Now, there's a couple quests that you could do here. Um, if I remember correctly, the room is right here, yes. And you're going to do this quest from level uh, 175 to 190, like I said earlier. Um, you want to get this quest right here. And there's um a lot of npcs in here so yeah uh, i would recommend getting up on these lights uh, if you have a devil fruit by now you can spam your abilities and just killing them um i know all of you don't have pika but there's other fruits that have abilities i can hurt them if you don't have a fruit you might have diablo jean Bay, something like that um but behind that is gravito which is like uh what's his name uji tora in the anime and pretty much he drops the gravity cane which is a pretty good weapon and he drops the hoverboard which is a boat that can go on land so it's pretty cool uh but pretty simple stuff we're going to keep the guide rolling next we're going to be going to fishman cave which is actually not that far from gravitos island and it's not that far off and getting the fishman is going to be a hassle though because there's a puzzle that we have to go through so yeah okay guys so you're going to want to come to the corner of gravitos island uh, you want to go you want to come to this corner right here and just go east pretty much to get to the fishman cave and um 
This is where we're going to be having to go through the maze at. You have to go through this maze fast, so I'm sorry, but I'm going to be uh, pretty much flying through this. And yeah, there it is right there. Um, we're going to have to go underwater to get to Fishman. I recommend getting this Eternal Post. I don't think I have it, so I'm going to have to get it as well. Yep. I do have it. Um, But yeah, you want to talk to this dude. He gives you a bubble. But give me a second. I got to look up how to get down here myself. Okay, guys, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to get down to Fishman Island out through the maze. You want to buy a bubble. It costs 2,000 pennies, so make sure you got a couple money or a little bit of money before you come down here because I'm going to be honest. Um, it's pretty hard. Um, so pretty much just come down. Uh, make sure you have out a weapon. I'm going to turn on my hockey as well. And you want to go left. Uh, you want to go left. And then you want to come in here. You want to go left again. And you want to go up. Oh, snap. And then you want to... Okay, I'm getting sold out again. For you? For you? Yo, 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 yo. Okay, and then you want to go down. My bad, guys. And you want to go to the side. And you want to go straight forward. Keep on going straight forward. You want to come right. Left. And then you want to uh, come right here. Come up a little bit. Come up a little bit right here. Go left. Go through here. Okay, no, that's completely incorrect. You want to come down here. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Go left. Go left again. And then come straight. Go up. And then Fishman Maze Portal is right there. Hey, yo, I'm getting sold out again. Hey, yo, if I don't make it to Fishman Maze because of this, bro. Alright, and then yeah, I'm sorry that I know that wasn't the best guide. It was pretty glitchy. But feel free to watch someone else's. Um, I'm sorry, guys. It's pretty hard to get down here. That was my first time trying to do this. And yeah, you want to come up over here. Uh, and pretty much just where you want to get your set your spawn. There isn't no eternal pose for this one. Uh, there's eternal pose for Fishman Cave, though. And the quest that we're going to be doing the whole time is... Uh, no, it's not this quest. Oh, yes, it is. It is this quest right here. Um, we're going to be doing this quest until we're what? Um, we're going to be doing this quest. You can do this quest from 190 all the way up to 325 or 425. It depends on how long you want to stay here. Um, but there is islands after this. But after this island, it's pretty much harder to level up if you get what i'm saying um but i'm gonna show you guys the other islands after this anyway but you can level up here you can level up here pretty decently fast uh until level 325 or 425 but i wouldn't recommend going until the new level cap that's on update 5 um but yeah pretty much i like to do this right here they can't get to you and you just hit them with your ability whatever ability you have pretty easy stuff and yeah um that's the only quest you're going to be doing here. There is a boss right here at this building. It's Neptune from like in the show. He has a quest just like all the other bosses and he's pretty hard as well. He summons sharks and stuff. I would not recommend fighting him until you're high level. I'm not about to. Yeah, no, I can't. I know I can't solo him and I'm max level in update four. Um, so, yeah, he literally sends sharks after you. So, oh, yeah, don't worry about losing your bubble, by the way, in the in the uh, fishman island you can breathe down here but pretty much there's another boss if you come up here you can set your spawn this is just like a mini boss and he just drops a katana not nothing too good uh and he saw the sharks it's not worth it um so yeah for all that work that's pretty much it for fishman island like i said you can go to max level from here or um not max level go to 325 i recommend going to 325 if you are uh, I wouldn't recommend going to 425 because I have a more effective way to level up to 425 and then after that you guys will see and then after 425 we'll see that whenever update 5 releases since I'm making this video on update 4 I'm finishing update 5 um but yeah pretty much to get out all you want to do is hit this beam right here and the next item that we're going to be going to is marine fort g1 yeah marine base g1 and fishman island regularly is going to be level 190 to 215 so if you do decide to go this path um you could just go to uh you go to marine Ford g1 after um to go from level 215 to 325 but i don't think it's the most convenient way now g1 is going to be exactly what pretty much west a little bit to the side of west 
from Fishman Cave. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna see you guys there. Okay guys, so we're finally here, and even with Pika Fight, that was a little bit of a journey, I ain't gonna lie, so um, pretty much whenever you get here, you wanna come up, this is the first big boss that you could do, well not big boss, but you have to summon them to like a storyline here, um, I'm not gonna be covering that in this video, cause that doesn't have anything to do with leveling pretty much, I'm not gonna be using that to level up, but here's the eternal pose, and here's the set spawn, you know what I'm saying, always set your spawn, and pretty much, now, this is the first quest that you're going to be greeted with whenever you come to this island. Now, if you have Zushi or Goro, you could literally macro this island until you're level 325, uh, like I did. And um, pretty much, you could just use, like, the Meteor or Thunder Greeting. But these dudes just shoot cannons at you or whatever. Pretty lame. They're pretty annoying. But you only have to kill two of them, so it's pretty easy, honestly. And they're gunners. They're just annoying. Um, so this is what I did to get to level 325. But this island, as you're going to find out... It's not really the best for leveling, which is why I say that you could stay until a level 325 or even 425 if you're grinding like that. But I wouldn't do that personally because, like I said, I have a better way to get to 425. But, yeah, this is pretty easy stuff. Um, now, there's another quest in here that gives you, I'm pretty sure, pretty decent XP. And there's more NPCs and stuff. So, if you don't like the gunners, if the gunners are too annoying. Just do this quest. It's pretty much pretty simple. It's just a whole bunch of Marines. Um, but besides that, if you follow me up here, there's going to be a boss named Admiral or Vice Admiral Zeke. I forgot what his name is. Um, but pretty much just go up these stairs. And yeah, some more NPCs up here that do lots of damage. It's pretty and unfair. And yeah, Zeke is up here. Um, is how you're gonna get the stuff. I have a video actually up on my channel. I'm actually gonna have a, a link, a playlist link. If I already said this, but I'm gonna have a playlist link of GPO guys that you guys could do um, to get stuff, you know? So that link is gonna be in the description uh, to get like hockey and all the other good stuff. Uh, pretty much, uh, and how to do the quest line here. It's all that good stuff. But yeah, that's besides the point. So yeah, that's pretty much Marine 4G1. You're gonna do this from level 215 until 325 if you didn't decide to go to fishman route um and yeah that's pretty simple pretty easy stuff um so now the next island that we're going to be going to is the city of soul actually so we're going to be going to new world um so i'm gonna show you guys how to get to the um what is it called reverse mountain which is actually the place you have to go Enable to enable yourself to get to New World. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get there. I'm gonna show you guys how to get the World Scroll. Okay, guys. So Reverse Mountain is actually um, southwest kind of of Marine 4G1. So pretty much all you want to do is come over here, come to this side. As you can see where I am, uh, come to the most side that you can get closest to southwest at, and you just want to go. Did they add an NPC to get there? I think they did. Oh wow. That wasn't there at first. I'm guessing you're wondering about your next adventure. Second C. Okay, C, so it tells you. The direction that he's facing is the second C. Okay. But, yep. Just pretty much go south to west and you'll get there. Okay, guys, so we made it to Reverse Mountain. It's literally a big red mountain. You can't miss it with big doors, all this stuff about it. Um, so pretty much what we're, the first thing we're going to do is set our spawn. Because this is not it, actually. Um, so before we can go to the second seat and get to uh, past level 325, um, where we're actually going to be getting the max level update 5 at, we're going to first have to come talk to this monkey over here. And the item that we're going to have to obtain is the World Scroll. No. I'm not gonna lie, if you guys don't know what you're doing, 
then you're gonna fail getting the world scroll but if you know what you're doing which i'm gonna show you guys how to do it you're gonna be fine but yeah you talk to her whenever you get your world scroll and she plays this cool animation um personally it's a really cool animation i like it um let me know what you guys think about it in the comments comment something man if you guys have questions anything i guess now's the perfect time to say it comment your questions i usually respond within like a couple hours three hours i'll say to my comments so i try to reply to every comment that's what repliable like whenever someone answers a question so yeah but uh, now i'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the world scroll okay so i know you guys aren't gonna hear this but to get the world scroll we're gonna need to go back to marine 4 g1 um because this is how we're gonna do it uh, but now you guys have the eternal post so you can get back here um pretty easily but yeah i'm showing you guys how to get to eternal post okay boys i said eternal post i'm in world scroll but now that we're back at um marine 4 g1 we're basically going to go to the front and we want to go northwest from the front um and yeah uh, that's not all by the way stick around because that's not at, that's not all on how you get the world scroll it's like i said it's a pretty difficult complicated tax for no reason whatsoever um and yeah okay so pretty much we just want to go northwest from this island uh, northwest pretty simple stuff but whenever we get to the rough waters we don't want to go northwest anymore uh because the scroll island spawns anywhere around this rough waters are the specific rough waters that we're about to go to so whenever we get there you know i'll just show y'all whenever we get there okay so now that we're in the rough waters we pretty much are looking for a shrine uh if you get out of the rough waters you're not doing it right it spawns anywhere around here see i'm out of the rough water so i need to go back in um and we're looking for like a tiny structure on the water um you guys will know it whenever you see it you don't know what it looks like but pretty much you want to go around rough waters just look everywhere i'm out of the rough waters again and where is it at I dead don't see it. Here it is right here. This little shrine. Here it is. Uh, now you can not fall off of this. And if you have a boat, then the Kraken spawns. But as you can see, the item that I have in my inventory. Be careful too because you can get hit by lightning. The item in my inventory and the item here matches. It's the world scroll. I can't get it because I already have one. But yeah, this is how you get the world scroll. So now I'm going to see you guys back at Reverse Island okay guys so now we're back at reverse island as you can see and all you want to do now is talk to her, the monkey whenever you have your world scroll and she's going to open the gate do the cutscene i showed you guys and yeah now all you do is go through the gate uh it's going to bounce me back and you just want to go jump this way jump this way swim this way whatever and your screen's going to go back and yeah so now you guys can give yourself a pat on the back because you finally made it to the new world um this is the second cngpo um and here you could do all the new fun stuff that they added uh but i'm not gonna be showing you guys that in this video i'm gonna be showing you guys how to get max level so um right now i haven't said this yet but i'm i'm in update four still but i'm gonna continue this guy whenever update five comes out and you guys will see this guy whenever update five comes out so it's still gonna be the max level guy i'm just pre-recording some of it before update five anyways from this island there's nothing to do with this island it's pretty cool you know you can walk around explore whatever um pretty much just tells you how to get here you just want to go straight forward and just from this island you just want to go straight forward and you will get to the desert kingdom now there's a lot to do in the desert kingdom there's a lot of ways to level up yada yada you know all that good stuff this is where your uh robo and bomi is and this is where i show you guys the ways that we're not going to be leveling up at least according to my method now you got the city criminal you can kill some of the npcs um yeah you can kill some of the npcs or no you know you know you have to kill kingdom guards my bad um and pretty much the way you aggro kingdom guards is by killing the npcs as you can see the kingdom guards have been dispatched after you um 
So yeah, pretty much just hurting the NPC, you get the uh, villain guards after you. And these NPCs in the new worlds aren't nothing to play with, guys. I'm gonna be honest, they're actually pretty decent. Um, but yeah, you basically want to kill six guards, and as you can see, this is a little bit too much work. Um, just for it's not enough EXP. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the EXP. There's also cargo that y'all could do. There's also cargo quests that you guys could do. Um, I'm trying to find a cargo quest NPC. I'm pretty sure there's one over here. If I am not mistaken, yep, right here. And you go around and look for cargo civilians. Um, any have any cargo? So yeah, you have to find a civilian that has the cargo with the exclamation point above their head, which I'm not seeing one right now, and I'm not about to look for one because it's irrelevant. And um, that's that. Now I'm be showing you guys the bosses here first. Um, first we have the crocodile or the desert king whatever they call them um pretty self-explanatory pretty this boss is actually pretty hard i mean it's actually a pretty hard boss no underestimate him but it's just one of the two bosses that's in the desert kingdom so yeah we come down here you have to actually get the fragments to summon him which is a bummer but he drops the he drops a pretty good cape and he drops his hook his pirate hook so yeah pretty good balls and pretty good drops um so from here you could do that for levels if you want i wouldn't recommend it i still haven't showed you guys the method um to get from level 325 to level 425 which is actually not going to take that long um but the next boss is actually right here right next to the desert kingdom and it is the crab boss the crab uh i don't know what his name is Crab King, King Crab, whatever you want to call him. And he spawns in here. He's not spawned because I just came to the new world, but that's that boss. Now, what I'm going to be doing, you showing you guys now, is how to get to level 425. Um, from level 325, pretty fast, like within a day's time. And if you have like a Pika user to help you, which I'm going to be helping you guys, because I'm going to be daily streaming whenever update 5 drops, you're going to be able to do this method pretty fast. So, pretty much. Now, all you want to do is crack him farm, man. Crack him farm is a secret to go from zero, level 325 to level 425. And I'm going to tell you why. Every time you kill a Kraken, and I recommend having Peek or Magma for this, but you don't have to have Peek or Magma. Just have a, a, a fighting style or something with a projectile attack. But I am going to be giving away multiple fruits in my Discord. So, legendary fruit. So, join that and you guys can level up or whatever. I don't know. But... Pretty much Krakens give one or more levels depending on how much damage you do to them. I'm pretty sure you can get like upwards of like five levels whenever you first start. Upwards of five levels whenever you first start. But it all depends on how much damage you do to them. So um, yeah, you just want to kill Krakens. Unfortunately, I'm not actually going to go get a Kraken right now. Uh, but that's the method um, to get from level 325 to 425. Or you can just hit a fish man. I do not recommend doing the quests that's all around the town. They're too slow. They're too much work. Um, do Krakens instead. They give you way more levels, way faster. And you also can get Devil Fruit drops from them. And you can also get um, items from them. Pretty good items, which everyone needs the Kraken armor. And if you're new to the new world, you're going to need the Kraken armor. Okay, so. <sighs> that was a pretty long guy. I'm, I'm going to uh, end this video off here, guys. Uh, I'm going to have a full gpo guide playlist starter guide for you guys so that you guys can get hockey so that you guys can get everything good i'm gonna have that playlist link pop up and i'm gonna have it in the description um so you guys can go get that okay guys so i'm gonna be continuing this video as you can see it's update 4.990 v i'm gonna be continuing this video during update 5 so stay tuned guys we're gonna get this full leveling guide done for y'all um i'll see y'all in update 5 okay boys so i'm back for the leveling guide and it is now update 5.1 update 5 as you can see so um, now it is time that we finish off this leveling guide and now the new max level cap is 500 so yeah uh, we're gonna be leveling up at thriller bark it's gonna be 425 through 500 i'm gonna show you when we guys get there but uh, i go through the new log pose if you see we press thriller bark it's pretty much north through northeast so i recommend going to like the back of uh Alabasta or whatever you want to call it and um, and uh, going from there so I'm gonna just fast forward until I get to the back and I'm gonna just sail there
Okay guys, so we made it to the back of Alabasta. And uh, as you can see, like I said, north through north I said north through northeast. Northeast through east. Um pretty much come down to the water. By the way, new water is fire, can't even cap. Um spawn your boat. Y'all know what to do. Fast forward until we get there. Okay guys, so we finally made it. As you can see, it's pretty far away, even on a coffin boat. It took a little minute. Um, but pretty much, you just wanna come through this gate at the front and you'll be able to see it. Um, pretty nice island, I ain't gonna lie. Top five of GPO islands. This island is pretty fire. Um, I don't like how dark it is though. But now that we're here, um, you know, ball me and Robo already have my spawn point sample. I'm gonna do it just for the video because you know, I always gotta set my spawn point. Get your eternal pulse and um, pretty much now from the beginning we got two no we have three level routes we can go and i'll be taking you guys to the to the um easiest and the one that i'm doing first the most efficient one in my opinion um uh pretty much you come around and you bust the left right here bust the left and you can see my my, my boy is over there already level grinding but pretty much you come over here come follow these lights and um You'll find a quest of the art. This is also where Ryuma is, the boss to get Shizui. Um, pretty good boss, pretty nice boss, pretty good drop. Um, but this is the quest right here. Uh, you get, uh, it's actually like right now at the level I am, I'm getting about a level every time I do it. And uh, it gets pretty good XP. I don't know what you're thinking, 10 zombies? But yo, look, with, with literally with uh, 948 inch double fruit with magma, Watch what I do. I could literally magma eruption. Now just watch it. 24 damage per tick, but 42 damage burn, 42 burn damage. One shot with magma eruption, right? So this is the one that I've been doing. It's pretty easy for me. I just stack them up. I just go in one all of them and stack them up. But I can understand that's not the one that you want to do. And eventually I can see that quest getting kind of slow. Now the next route we have, we come back, follow our footsteps, retrace our footsteps, whatever you want to say. Um, and we come to the middle. Right? Uh, this is the middle. And we come back to the middle. And we go up these stairs right here. Now up here is where the main boss is going to be, Gekko Moria. Um, and where uh, the next quest that we're going to be doing is to get levels. Now, I got a lot of levels from doing the three bosses. I mean, yeah, the three bosses, Gekko, uh, the Don Ledoux, and Ryuma. This is the quest for Gekko right here, if you didn't know. And then... Uh, this is the quest that we're gonna that's the third level route by the way uh doing the bosses it's pretty good xp can't lie if you have like a group of friends on i recommend doing that for levels but they're pretty hard uh so this is the next quest uh that i recommend doing uh, I, I honestly i like the zombie one better but it's personal preference just because these do spam one sword style like literally you'll watch as i aggro another one if you're trying to stack these dudes they also have more health not a lot though, they're not too hard, but they spam one sword style. That's why it's so annoying, the zombies don't do that. But pretty much, uh, you just kill these dudes, six of them. But as you can see, like I said, they spam one sword style, and it's honestly annoying. Yeah, I hate this dude. Um, but yeah, if you guys, so that's that's the second level route. If you guys do want to do the boss, the boss, this is the quest for the boss that's over here. I forgot his name, can't lie. Uh, Borge, Borge, that's his name. He has the gauntlets and Borge spawns right here. I'm, I'm gonna get out of here because he's trying to fight me, but that's Borge. Um, it gives pretty good XP. The bosses are pretty good XP in this update. And now I'm gonna show you guys. You have to get two Borge souls. You have to kill Borge twice and get the soul and fill this up, and you have to get two Ryuma souls. I'm about to show you guys where Ryuma is real quick, and I'm gonna end the video off. To, and that's how you get to Gekko Moria. Um, but let me show you guys, uh, Ryuma is actually down here. Uh, y'all gotta appreciate the design though. This is actually like a huge ship. It's pretty fire. You can see the sail. Um, 
But Ryuma is where is he at? Oh, he's in here. He's in this church or whatever. Um, he's also a TP crazy dude. As you can see though, Ryuma. Oh wow, yeah, Ryuma right here. 63 and ones, not a joke. All right, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. This video has been in the in the works for months, uh, since for a minute. Uh, you know, I recorded the first part of update four, so. I appreciate you guys if you like the video. Uh give you boys sub. We're doing a giveaway in the Discord in the description. Uh, I gotta let out a sigh. Cause this has been a good video, a good up and coming video. I hope you guys, I hope this helped you guys. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm out. Peace.